much are you gonna charge for that set? Today's amazing nails are a full set with tips. How do you go about this when the customer wants tips? Do you charge more? Do you charge less? We will get into that. In addition to this, there is a very specific type of glitter mix. This specific glitter mix is gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna pick one off the wall, but then we've gotta add some more. So it's like customization on top of customization. How do you go about that exactly? We're gonna find out. Wanna give a huge shout out to our Young Nails distributor in Sweden, Natalie Cohen, who provided this inspiration. I love this set for New Year's. I think it's a phenomenal set to wear during New Year's. You've got your sophistication with the solid, that deep red. In addition to that, you've got this uh, this glitter mix, and I got a little sneak peek at what Tracy did to match it, and it's pretty ridiculous. Speaking of Tracy, she's right here to walk us through exactly how we go about this. Let's talk to her and get the information. So, clients coming in, full set, New Year's ready. Um, we have some beautiful glitters, a beautiful uh, go time gel polish we're going to put on, but we are going to use tips this time. I know that we talk a lot about doing sculpts, um, but for six years of my career, I only did tips and I had a very successful clientele doing it. So it definitely can be done. I now prefer sculpting, but tips are great too. So we're going to show you that and we're going to discuss if there's a price difference. Yeah, that's actually uh, going to be very interesting. Um, I'm ready to go. Are you ready? Let's do it anyway. I don't wanna. Let's go over our product first. We're gonna be using our liquid monomer, cover pink acrylic, clear tips. We have a mix of glitter that was already on my wall, but we're gonna add silver and hologram to it. A brush on glue and our last item is a go time color called Backseat Driver. Let's get started. Let's start by pushing back our cuticle first. Next, we're gonna grab our medium grit arbor band, turn our electric file on low, and prep the natural nail. So if you've watched previous videos, you know that I do like a medium cross cut bit. When I'm doing a full set, I like to prep the natural nail with a medium grit arbor band because I like the feel of it better on the whole natural nail. When I use the medium cross cut bit, I'm usually doing a fill and just prepping the very back area because it tucks really, really well in there. Run through, remove all the shine, make sure we hit the cuticle really good, and we are done. Next, we're gonna grab our swipe, my clean manicure brush, and we're gonna swipe up and down on it to remove all the dust, oils, and contaminants. Remember, we wanna run it this way, not this way. That way it pulls all the dust out of the sidewalls. Next, we're gonna grab our tips, and we're gonna make sure that we grab the right size tip. Let me show you a, a couple different things that can go wrong when we're using tips. The number one mistake that I see people make, especially if you're first starting out when it comes to tips, is we know that we want the tip to be narrow. We don't want it too wide. But a lot of times what we'll do is we grab a tip and we force it down onto the nail so it fits from side to side. But the problem is, is you're relying on the glue to hold that and eventually it's going to break down and the tip is gonna release. That's why a lot of times you'll see an air bubble right in the center of your product. It's where you have separation from the tip from the product. So we wanna make sure we don't go too small. The next problem that I see is if we go too large. Again, we know we want it to fit from sidewall to sidewall, but if we have a lot of excess on both sides, that means we're gonna to have to do a lot of filing. So we prefer to find something that fits just right. Okay, so we're gonna grab a tip. This one fits 
without putting a whole lot of pressure down. It fits from sidewall to sidewall, really nice. I would prefer to see you go a tad bigger than going too small. So this one is gonna work for me. We're gonna grab our brush on glue. Now you can do it one of two different ways. You can either put the glue on the nail or you can put it inside the well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap inside the full well, filling it completely. Making sure we have enough glue all the way through. I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna rock it onto the nail. Hold it there for about three to five seconds. Let it set up. And then we can let go. If you notice when I was applying the glue, we don't have a very big well. There's all kinds of different well sizes. There's quarter, there's half, there's full. I prefer to use one that has a very little well. The more product you have on the natural nail, whether it's acrylic or gel, the better adhesion. You're relying less on that glue and more on product. So it's I prefer to have a smaller well, and then I know my nails are gonna be nice and strong. Okay, now we need to cut it down a little bit. I'm gonna take some tip cutters. I'm gonna cut it down to about there. Maybe a little bit more. And then because I'm working with this almond, almondetto shape, I'm gonna kinda of take some toenail clippers or some scissors, whatever you have, and we're gonna customize it. Now normally I prefer to use a straight edge toenail clipper, but you gotta use what's on your desk. So I could only find curved. So we're gonna make it work. We're just gonna trim it in on one side. We're gonna come around and trim the other side. Okay, now we can file, shape it and blend it in. Okay, so I'm going to take my file and shape it more to that almanetto shape on the sides, making sure the grooves are straight up and down just like we would with an acrylic form or sculpted nail. Bring it in. We can do some more filing towards the end. I don't want to file a ton when I'm just relying on the glue. Once we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And blend it in a little. Just coming over the top, I'm just filing right on that tip itself. I'm not gonna get carried away because it is a clear tip. I don't have to file a ton. And because it is acrylic, we don't have to etch the tip a ton. Acrylic will stick to the plastic really nicely. Okay, once we have blended the tip, I'm gonna go ahead and take swipe one more time and just make sure all that dust is off of there. We're gonna take our protein bond. Put it on the natural nail. I actually like to run the protein bond all over the tip just to make it nice and sticky. We're gonna do that one time on all 10 fingers and then we're gonna come back and do it for a second coat. Again, remember it's not like a traditional primer. It's not acid, so it's not gonna do anything to the tip. It won't dissolve it at all. Okay, we got our nail liquid, we have our powder, and we are and now, now we are ready, ready to overlay the tip overlay with our acrylic. Overview. Let's grab our bead. Pearl. Okay, nice size ball. We're gonna just place it just like if we were working with a form. We're gonna tap it to the back. I'm holding that finger down, letting, letting gravity letting flow towards the tip. And as it flows, we're just gonna start to push it out and move it in the direction that we want. Hold down it over the tip. Now I notice that I don't have enough, so all I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing right now, grab another pearl, add it where I need it, and then just blend it in. And our tip is overlaid and we're good to go.
We are now ready to file, shape, and get ready to do our gel polish on top. The nails have been filed and shaped. We're ready to finish them off with our gel polish. We're gonna start by applying our protein bond on top to make sure the gel polish does not chip away. A nice good coat on top. Remember, we don't wanna smooth out the surface of the acrylic. I usually go from a 150 file or a medium grit arbor band straight to doing my gel polish. If you smooth out the nail too much, your gel polish will chip away. Okay, let's get our color. We're gonna pull out our backseat driver and apply this beautiful burgundy red. Just a gorgeous color for this time of year. amazing right now by the way I think it should be how much with a glass of wine let's do our thumb what do you think Aviv? I say go for it I think I'd be more creative at least more entertaining should we experiment yes get it in the light and remember with go time we want to cure for one minute each layer okay let's get it out of the light and we're gonna do our second coat okay let's get it in the light for another one minute let me show you the glitter mix I'm using before we get started. This is a mix I already had on my wall. This has cotton candy, neon sky, fuchsia, and crushed pearl in it. I'm gonna add silver and hologram to it to get the glitter mix that I want. So what is in here is all equal parts of those glitters I mentioned. And then I'm gonna add equal parts of hologram and silver to it. This is the mix you'll come up with. Just a beautiful light lavender sparkle. Now the reason I did these fingers first is I'm gonna sugar these nails and now I know that these are dry and the glitter won't get in it. Let's get our glitter, let's get our color. And let's grab our glitter. Okay, so we're gonna grab our glitter and we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle it. We're gonna start at the cuticle area and just Drop it on down. Grab some more. We're gonna make sure that we've covered every spot. Make a mess, a pretty mess. And we have our sugar. Let's move on to the next nail. and let's get it in the light. We're gonna grab our light and we're gonna do our final cure of one minute. We're gonna take a dry manicure brush and dust the excess glitter off. And we are done. got our finished look now is the time Tracy I want to know how much I want to know too <laughs> it's 105 105 dollars 
How do we get to this price point? So $90 for the full set. I do not charge less for tips. I know some people feel like they should. It's the same amount of work. And again, we don't want our customer basing what they're gonna get on price. We want to give them what they need. So if you're doing tips or you're doing sculpts, you should charge the same amount. Um, we had $5 for the existing color on my wall, and then we added two different glitters to that, so that gets us to 105. This looks like New Year's to me. That glitter combo that you made, that thing is ridiculous. Like, this glitter is insane. You should, you should wear it all day long and pay the 105. All day long, Tracy. Thank you, and we will see you next time on How Much.